Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. Today I am back with another plan with me in my 7x9 Tilly Journals Functional Flexi Planner. And this is for the week of the 20th to the 26th of March using the Cherry Blossom Kit from Planner Face. I kind of PR for Plan Face. <laughs> uh, Anna is actually going through a change up with her PR team right now. So you can still use my code CAT10. You can still collect PR freebies and you can collect up to three now. So if you are trying to complete this set, um, you can do that until the new PR team information is announced, which will be coming soon. So it's a little bit of a weird time with PR right now, but that's the situation. It feels really nice to be back. I know it doesn't really feel any different to you, but I had done all of the plan with me's up till last week's as a batch, so I'd done like four in a row. So having really basically taken a month off doing them, it was nice to get back into them. I did this spread yesterday from like Real Life Cat, and I did three in a row while my bestie Emma was here, so we were just in my office working on planning stuff. So the next three weeks will all be done while she was here. And we were watching Queen Charlotte while doing that. Um, so I've only got one episode left, so I'll probably try and watch that <laughs> while I'm doing some other stuff today. Yeah, I am so obsessed with how this spread came out. I was so excited when Anna released this kit. Like, it's pink, green, with a touch of a kind of interesting orangey yellow that you don't see that often in kits. And I knew I would love it. I just, I, I love the vibes of this kit. It's so neutral, and I just love how it looks on the spread. I was a little bit worried I'd ruined it with the foil, not gonna lie. So the foil I'm using is, I think it's called Dusty Pink Hollow from Planner Choco. And I'm pretty sure it was Kittenish Jess. Apologise if it wasn't you, Jess, but I think it was Jess who recommended getting this foil in this colour to go with this art. And when it came, I was like, oh, that's so busy. And like, these bougie boxes are... So bougie boxes I would deem as kind of being like dots. And then underlays is more like this where it's like much more patterned and I barely use patterned um boxes really I think they look too busy so suddenly I got these and I was like oh this is gonna look like too much on the spread but thankfully it does look great as you can see the foil does show through planner face boxes it's the nature of being matte paper versus glossy paper like, glossy paper is so much thicker so it does show but I kind of like that. It's kind of like, it gives the background of the boxes a bit of a pattern, which is fun. And to be honest, in real life, you can't see the boxes too, like the, the actual pattern of the cherry blossom is not too obvious. So it does look cute. I'm, I'm okay with the decision, but I didn't use the header overlays because I felt like that was going to be too much. I, so, and so it's very much just a touch of cherry blossom, which I think was the right decision. I really don't know now what I'm going to do with the, um, the headers that I have, but you know, I think I made the right decision. So let's get on to the day by day. So as always, I don't talk about where each of the individual stickers are from. Most of the functional stickers that I get are from Planner Face, Girl Prince Co, Paper Shire, Stick With The Plan Co, Coffee Monsters Co, Once More With Love and Joy Of Planning. But if you do want to know where a particular sticker is from, please feel free to ask and I will do my best to let you know where it is from. So on Monday, the first thing I marked was that I had a productive day go me. Um, this is very much in my busy season at work this week. So if I was having a productive day through that, that's a real win. Then this was the day I got my new MacBook. That's so fun. So I have a vlog up of this week. Um, so if you want to check that out, that is up on my channel. Uh, so yeah, this was the week I got my MacBook and I love my MacBook. The first week that I got it, I was really overwhelmed because it was just, it's so different. I've never had a Mac before. I've always been a Windows person. And just everything about Max is really different. But now I have it. I love it. I love more than anything. It's not really so much the functionality of the MacBook. But what I really love is the fact that I can airdrop footage for videos and photos and thumbnails and stuff from my iPhone to my computer. It's like life changing to me. 
to be able to do that. So that's been the big winner of having a MacBook. And a big thank you to Anna from Planner Face who supported me in the purchase of said MacBook because she has a Mac, so I really appreciate it. Uh, then I marked that I got a burrito. So there is a burrito takeaway place. Um, I've really, really discovered a love for burritos this year. And this burrito place at the time was doing buy one, get one free on burritos. So I would always order two and then have the next one the day after. I felt it was a very good use of my takeaway purchasing. Um, but Stuart did not feel like these burritos were good enough for this purpose. <laughs> um, they're definitely so we get burritos from St. Albans Market sometimes, and the burritos there are really good. They bake them, like they're so nice. Um, so these ones are not as good as that, but like I really felt like for a buy one, get one free, they were very good value. So burritos are gonna show up a reasonable amount in the next few weeks. Uh, but unfortunately they have removed the buy one, get one free and not being funny, they are not good enough for the amount they are if they're not buy one, get one free. Um, then I marked that I was doing some YouTube work. On this particular day, I was finding that YouTube work quite overwhelming because I was trying to use my MacBook for it. One thing I do still need to do is use Final Cut Pro. Um, I still use iMovie on my MacBook. Um, I have though discovered how to put picture images into videos now. So my life has changed now for using iMovie on my MacBook. Um, so now I'm kind of like, well, that's like the reason I'd even purchase Final Cut Pro in the first place was so that I could do that particular thing, which I've now figured out how to do on iMovie. So I don't know whether I'll ever switch to Final Cut Pro because I just think I'm so much quicker on iMovie because I know it. So we'll see, but I did purchase Final Cut Pro, um, but I got an education discount for my MacBook. So it's like kind of not the end of the world if I don't use it. Uh, and then I marked that I was so tired. I love that giant Coffee Monsters Co like emoji in a blanket, so cute. <laughs> then on Tuesday, so this is also when I decided that I was gonna push ahead and get my mental health assessment. Uh, so I'd probably had breakdowns the week before, uh, or at least my mental health was on its pretty rapid decline. I've been on a rapid decline of mental health for a while. Um, but, oh no, the week before was when I went to hospital, wasn't it? Yeah, okay, so the week before was when I had chest pains and went to hospital and everything was fine, but they thought it was stress. And me and Stuart basically sat down and were like, okay, I'm gonna, I need to get professional help now. So I used um, Stuart's healthcare to get hold of uh, Aviva and spoke to them about kind of needing some help. And they put me forward for a mental health assessment, which did I have that? Yeah, I had that literally on this day. So I was on the phone to Aviva for a while. I had to wait about half an hour before someone picked up, but then I got put straight through to the mental health team. And then it was like 11.45 and they were like, do you want your mental health assessment at 12? Or it was like something really tight down around like that. So I had a call with a mental health nurse and they put me forward for CBT. I've been having CBT all of this time since then. Uh, Cause I think, I must have had my first therapy session the week after, I think, by the looks, because I don't see a therapy sticker. Um, and yeah, I'm still in therapy now in July. So um, I'm probably about six weeks out from being done with my course of therapy right now. Um, but yeah, so this was the start of that. Uh, then I was very upset because of uh, a mistake that was made. As part of my job, we do a lot of events and we have banners for that. And there was a just a spelling mistake on the banners and I took it really badly because I don't, I'm not very good at, I can own when I make a mistake. And to be honest, I was kind of like, well, I'm overworked. I'm responsible for a lot of things. Nobody is giving me a break. It's not a surprise a mistake was made. But a lot of people were uh, kind of not blaming me, but I guess slightly mocking me for the fact that a mistake had been made, or at least that's how I interpreted was happening. Uh, or they were being a bit like, funny about it and I didn't take that well so that afternoon I did then have a breakdown obviously as I was saying this was like I was in a pretty bad place anyway um so that wasn't a good day I I remember in the vlog I I like come to Wednesday and I was like so I just deleted all the footage from Tuesday because <laughs> I was like that internet didn't need to see that so yeah that was a bit of a shame um but you know it's one of those things and it just shouldn't need to be that big a deal when somebody makes a mistake, particularly if the mistake comes because they're overworked, you know? Um, so then I marked that I had a migraine, not a surprise, because obviously I'd been so upset and crying so much. Then I had a YouTube binge and then followed by a bath, so just trying to sort of reset myself a little bit on that day. Then on Wednesday, I have no idea. I just put bizarre day and I, there's no context in my notes as to why it was bizarre. I should maybe go back and watch the vlog to see why it was such a bizarre day, but I have no idea why it was a bizarre day. So 
I apologize that I can't give you the story about that. Then I marked that I took some time off in Lou in the afternoon because by this point I just, you know, the mental health decline. I was so tired. Um, but I then spent the afternoon filming because that's just the most cat thing to do is like need to take some time off work and then film. Uh, <laughs> perfectionism sucks. Then marked that either meal Stuart made a gusto meal. I only used to mark gusto meals if I made them because I used to make the bulk of them. But when I'm busy, Stuart does tend to do most of them, but I do still mark it because I have these amazing gusto meal stickers that are customs from Anna, so I prefer to still mark it. Uh, then I marked that we watched The Mandalorian and those Mandalorian stickers are from um, Magical Sticker Co, Lindsay Morgan Plans' shop. And they're so big, like I love them, but they're so big and I really struggle to know how to do them on the box. So I have to like layer them over my characters, but I think it looks quite cute. And then I marked that I was working on some planner face mystery work. Who knows what mysteries at that point. <laughs> Then on Thursday, I marked that I had an early start and the little like clock there is a custom for me from Plan Face, so I apologise, but you won't be able to pick that one up. Um, then after that, I marked that I had a thing for work. So I am this all of this year leaving stuff blank if I'm doing stuff for work that I can't share on the internet. Um, and I will go back after I filmed all of my final year videos and then I will go fill them in. It's just easier. In all my other videos, I've had to like layer sea life post-it notes over it and it just looks better this way. Um, but it does mean I have to keep all my notes. So that's slightly annoying. Um, then I marked that I had a productive afternoon. I love that giant spring working sticker from Stick With The Planko. Perfect for this spread. Uh, then I marked that I set up my reading journal. That's so fun. Um, so I got into my reading journal quite late, but I have been quite consistent with it in fact after I finish this voiceover I'm going to go and do my reading journal for July which is fun uh no for June for June um so yeah this was when I first started it because I batched did the first three quarters um no the first three quarters no 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 that's three quarters of the year the first three months uh so quarter one I batched did those um possibly the following week from when this is or maybe it was in this week I don't know um I don't think I waited that long to do it. I don't really remember. Um, but yeah, so this is when I first was like setting it up. Um, and again, I talked about opening that video in that vlog. Oh, that's so fun. I need to get back into vlogging. Um, then I marked that I watched The Apprentice final. The Apprentice is one of my favourite. It's like my second favourite TV show after Gilmore Girls. I love The Apprentice. I've seen every series multiple times. Um, I just love it. Um, it makes me feel better about myself. <laughs> it makes me feel more competent. Um, and then I marked that I was watching some YouTube. Then on Friday, I had another work thing in the morning that I couldn't mention. Uh, and then I went to watch Flashdance, um, a production of Flashdance, which was really good. And there was so much rain. Like I came out of the theater and rain. I mean, when I say there was a lot of rain, I'm like, it was like soaked my leggings kind of rain. It was so, there was so much of it. Um, so by the time I got home, I was absolutely soaking wet and I was like, Stuart, I really need some fish and chips. I need a fish and chip Friday. <laughs> so we got some fish and chips. I watched some more YouTube and then I had a shower, which I mean, I was so drenched <laughs> anyway. Um, but if I just, you know, you know, when like your clothes are sopping wet, but you just need to like wash in your own way and then get warm. It was kind of what I needed to be wrapped in my towel. Then on Saturday, um, this was a bit of a rough day for, because I was working. So I had to get up early. I don't, did I walk to, no, I think Stuart gave me a lift to the station because I didn't mark that I walked. Uh, but on the train to work, I was reading Jade Legacy. I'm still reading Jade Legacy. I haven't read it. I haven't touched it in a few months. I've just, there's something about me in Fond de Lis books that just take me a while to get through. I have real, I have a real like imposter syndrome over reading them. Um, but I was reading that. And then I was at work by 7.15 because my trains on a Saturday, I live outside of London. So we don't have trains that regularly, especially at the weekends. So in order to get to work, we, I think I had to be delivering a brief at 8 a.m. So in order to be at work in time for that, I had to get one earlier train than was like technically needed. And good thing too, because the one I would have got the later one was cancelled. But yeah, it meant that I was at work by 7.15. I love that little clock from Viva Stationery. She's not open anymore, but the clock is so just perfect for this spread. Um, but yeah, so I was I was very tired. This was a this was a long one. Um, so then I marked the event that I had at work, and then after that we went for after work drinks. And I'm pretty sure that these were yeah these were the drinks where I stayed out later than I do normally. I stayed out till about nine, and there was only like four or five of us left at the end. And one of my colleagues got 
pretty drunk and was just at this point started saying a load of stupid stuff in that way that people do when they've like dr- gone past the limit of what they should drink and at that point I was like mm, I'm gonna go this is why I don't often stay uh, that late at drinks but it's hard to know when to leave because sometimes if I leave early I get FOMO um, but I've got a lot better at staying for drinks. I used to leave a lot earlier, but I do stay a lot later for them now. But unfortunately, I love this colleague, right? He's one of my really good friends at work, but he just, you know, he just pushed it too far on that day. Um, so by the time I got home, it was late, having been up early. So uh, I marked that I had some late night pizza. And then on Sunday, annoyingly, I woke up early, given that I'd been out late the night before, so not ideal. And so because I woke up early, I used that time to edit, obviously. <laughs> um, and then we ordered McDonald's for lunch, probably because I was like so desperate for some, <laughs> some salty food at that point. Then I packed because after having worked a six day week, feeling totally rough, having had a late night, I then had to go back to work everybody on a Sunday. So I packed my suitcase because I was then away for a couple of days the following week for the final week of my busy season. Um, so then we went to set up for the event, which again, I haven't marked um, for security reasons. And then after that, I went for dinner with my colleagues, Andy and Nick. So Andy used to work at my workplace and moved was it in 2021 that Andy left us? It's been a while since Andy moved, but we're still good friends. We're still keeping contact. And then Nick was in our team at the same time, but Nick works in a different team at my workplace now. Uh, But he came to help me set up for the event and so that he could see Andy. So we went for some tapas, uh, which was really nice. The place we went to was really good. Um, And it was really nice to like have a catch up with them because even though I work in the same workplace as Nick, we don't see each other that often. So it was nice. So yeah, that is it for this spread. I really hope that you enjoyed this plan with me. I'm just showing you the leftovers in the kit here I have enough to keep this in my b6 leftovers album which is really exciting because getting to do the spread again will just be so fun in the description I will have links to the shops that I most commonly shop from so that you can check out those if you want to I'll also have a link to my Instagram and my Goodreads if you want to check out any more content from me otherwise I will see you in my next video thanks so much for watching bye This wiggle doesn't work that well. (laughs) The foil just doesn't show. Anyway, bye.